Okay, good afternoon guys. Um, it's around supper time, so today we're going to just have some burritos. And I thought maybe I'd just uh, share some ideas. At first I was working with an, an onion, and I had an idea that I wanted to share, and then I just said, well, I'm going to forget about that. But anyway, this is another idea that I do. Maybe in another video I'll show you what I do when I work with onions and how I get those prepped. But for this one, I'm just going to show you an idea. So you know when you have a loaf of bread and you have the ends, a lot of people don't eat those. Um, I'll eat them if I toast them. And they're hard when you're making French toast or anything like that. So normally we end up throwing them out anyway. So when I'm making um, the, the hamburger, when I'm, uh, I'll say when I'm frying it. So what I do is I, we use one of these uh, convent, or electric frying pans that we use. It's called the New Wave. I'm not endorsing it, but this is the one we use. And these are the kind that you can move and you don't burn your hand on it. So it's kind of a cool, we got it years ago, something we, we saw. Um, some of our kids have them also. So what I do though, when I'm cooking like that, making burritos especially, I just use the ends of the, the bread loaf. I just set it in there kind of set it up a little bit. Usually I, there's about four of them. So it's a, it's kind of a sacrifice of bread, if you will. But, so like right here, I ended up getting three. I'll uh, just turn them around a little bit. Now remember that th these are, the oil in here is hot. It's hot grease it's coming from a frying pan. So, but if you leave a little bit of the end on it, you can kind of mush it around. And then I just throw it into a bag and do another one here, absorb it up, throw it into the bag. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these uh, bags, leave this bag with the, this, the, the bread in it. And I'm going to end up tossing this outside, probably feed a couple squirrels or whatever. So I haven't decided. Or I also have the choice, obviously, to... Um, put that, put this in the garbage too. So it's just a, a really easy thing that I share, uh, I want to share with you, just a process that I go through when I'm, when I'm at home. Now these are one of these snow stick pans. In the beginning when I have like a, a, a brick of ham grill, I use this to peel it down. But this is like a, a normal process that I do. Um, sometimes I just, like I said, take the outside rind of the, the onion and I work it right into it, kind of flavor the hamburger, put a little bit of salt on there, not the regular salt, the regular, um, this kind of stuff, Lowry sauce, what we call it, Lowry salt, we put that in here to get it going a little bit too. So then, right when I'm at the end stage of it, what I do is I end up Oh, uh, I'm a cameraman here today. Hi, Lincoln. Hey. Say hi. How are you doing today? Good. A little bit of a snowy day. Lincoln and I went out for a little drive, so I'll take, take a cup of water. Now I'll set that in there. So that's why it doesn't really matter if you don't get all the, all the oil out, or the grease, rather. And what I do is, that's why I pull it out, because now I threw my water in there, and I'll bring this to a boil. And then I'll end up putting my, my uh, ingredients in it to make the burrito stuff. But it doesn't take very long. Actually, I could probably just start putting it in. This pretty, I make like a little channel for it to get in there. Get it started to go. And uh, now I'll maybe just bump my heat up a little bit more on here. They say with hamburger, you should be about at 400 degrees. See that right there, cameraman? Mm -hmm. So that's what we do is we bump it up to about 400 in the final stages of this. And it kind of brings the stuff to a nice little boil, water, and ingredients. And then I just start adding my, my sauce to it. And after about 40 years of making this stuff, I, I know how much sauce to pour in it. And I kind of make it to my flavor, work it around a little bit, and uh, yeah, it's a nice day, 
Lincoln and I are just in, hanging out. Everybody else is kind of taking an afternoon, Sunday afternoon snooze. And uh, how are you doing today, Lincoln? Good. I asked before, so any anything you want to share? Uh, no, not really. Not really? Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to go from here and um, just keep this down. We'll bump this. We've got a nice boil going on. Can you hear that and see it, Lincoln? Yeah. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll pull these two onions out of here. They've, they've seen that these, this onion skin was the second layer off of the, off of the uh, onion skins of it. So I usually don't eat that. It's kind of a little bit harder. It's got some grit to it. So, okay, so now I'm going to bump this all the way down to a nice little low, slow, low go. Just kind of simmer out, let that flavor get into it. Smell good to you, Lincoln? Yeah. Lincoln's uh, he's almost six foot tall now, so he's gotten quite an appetite, so he's not afraid to, to dig in and have a couple burritos or whatever. So um, that's going to be the end of the, pretty close to the end of this video. I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm going to chop onions a little bit. And uh, I don't think that's really exciting, but um, the beginning part of it is, is kind of a little bit of a um, fun part to get in an onion prepped, what I, how I do it. So um, sometimes I'll, I'll go this way across the onion. Now this has been, this is kind of a hard onion. You ever get those where you feel like it's a little bit like woody part of it. So I'm not going to really try to always make sure that you have your hands over stuff. And then I'll probably just try this layer of it because we're, it's just uh, four of us here today. So I'm going to, when you have a small amount of people here, yeah, that's going to be almost enough for, for all four of us for eating onions. So I just, Chop them down like this, and uh, we'll just chop them up. It's no, no big thing, and you don't have to go fast. Just always make sure that you know, like if you have a, a tougher onion like that, just make sure that you're you're cutting it where you're not going to go through your fingers. So yeah, this is this onion is going to be enough right here. And we just put it into a little bowl like that. And then we'll take the remaining part of the, the onion and what we'll do with that is we'll just take it and just throw it right into, um, grab one of these little sandwich type of bags. Not endorsing any sandwich brands either, sandwich bags, but it's just what we use here. Toss that onion into this part. Now you put an onion, you want to make sure that you have it sealed good because there's some some gas or something that emits from the onion. You don't want that to be hanging around. So now we'll put this part of it back into the refrigerator. Once I, I skin a, an onion, I store it in the refrigerator. We drive, you know, outside, store it. But once, once it is, uh, just toss it up on top there. So you don't want to put an onion unsealed into your uh, refrigerator because it absorbs, it'll absorb all kinds of stuff. I think it's, it's interesting enough if you put them in a, uh, a plastic, like a freezer bag, and put them on your feet. When you wake up, you'll see a lot of toxins that come out of your body. Into the onion. I don't know if anybody knew that. So that's just an idea I wanted to share with you guys today. And I'm going to take off. We got, that's the balance, it's time to go. So stop.